Good afternoon from Ninkin Bar. About uh, eight k's out of Harvey Bay. Last night here, move on tomorrow. But uh, I just thought I'd respond to a few of the comments from the video we did on the new tow tug. That's the 70 series. The V8 4.5 litre 5 speed manual. A couple of things I didn't point out. Look. It's got a table, or a seat. Much improved bumper bar from previous models. I think, and I saw a video where somebody actually fitted a winch into that standard bar. Um, extended problem I found, I just switched the stone stomper over from the 200 under the 79. Now it's lower. And it goes near the exhaust and it's burnt already after about uh, five hours of towing. So I guess I'll be cutting another section out of that. Thought so far, I still love it. Still love it. Toes well. Struggles with hills. Um, Oh, I've got the seat folded up now. Struggles with room in the back. So we've got two e-bikes in there. But the leg room for passengers is not real good. But normally there's only two of us anyway. So yeah, you drop back a couple of gears going up hills. But... Oh, I don't find it a problem. At least I know the transmission's locked as soon as I change gear. Anyway, getting back to a couple of these comments. Most of the comments were positive, actually, which is good. Uh, introducing... Pretty clean, I'm not jealous. Congratulations. Where's the rest of them? Anyway, just I can't find them all quickly. One bloke said, Why on earth would you go back from a 200 series to a 70 series? Um, that's pretty. Yeah, I know where you're coming from there. The 200 series was a lot more comfortable, that's for sure. And it, probably just as capable but it was a 2016 if you haven't watched the other video on the rundown of the 200 2016 it had already had the DPFs replaced and the injectors under warranty and after they replaced them I was advised to put in a catch can which I did not knowing that that was Toyota's number one excuse for voiding warranty after three years of the 200 going really well, the exhaust being clean, suddenly it turned black again. So something's obviously failed. I put it into Toyota to be assessed. They came back and said everything was within specs, but it was still blowing black smoke and the exhaust was going black. So I figured sooner or later I was up for a a massive bill of between fourteen and sixteen thousand dollars depending who you talk to. So I thought it was time to change over. Uh, we could not really afford to do it. But um, yeah. As my son says, you only live once. So we did it. Um, one of the other excuses, one of the other negative excuses why was why on earth would you put on a weight distribution hitch? Just put on airbags. Well, the obvious answer to that is weight, uh, airbags don't remove any of the weight off the rear axle. Putting a weight dis distribution hitch on takes the weight from the rear axle and shares it evenly with the front axle. 
why on earth wouldn't I do it? Would be my answer. Common sense. The 200 had both airbags and I used the weight distribution hitch on it and rode perfectly. So uh, I can't remember what your name was, but you do need to do a little bit more research on weight distribution hitches and how they actually work before you make rude comments to me. Anyway, that's my whinge about that. Uh, what else can I say? A fair bit of air noise. Mainly from the snorkel. I have only put one tank of fuel in it since we've been towing and the results on that were 16.1 litres per hundred and I wasn't holding back that was that was more or less what I used to get with the 79 series which is the same you know, same engine engine same setup but it didn't have the DPFs I think one of the big differences is, is this drives in two-wheel drive until you change it to four high so you're only driving the rear axle plus there's less weight but yeah I'm happy with it and this is you know this is I'm not paid to, to do these reports I don't I'm not press you see all these press guys get out in them for a couple of days and give you feedback Oh, one of the other comments was, why didn't I buy a 2.8 litre? Well, the answer to that is easy. I didn't want to buy a 2.8 litre. If the Prado can't tow 3.5 tonne, then why would this, with the same engine as the Prado, do the job as well as a 4.5 litre? It just doesn't make sense to me. So... My decision was, I don't want the 2.8, which has had the heck tuned out of it to make it perform, whereas this thing is under-tuned and does the job. Anyway, they're my reasons. Don't mean to offend anybody, but I'm just telling you what, what it's like in real life. It tows three and a half tonne easily, comfortably. Well, it tows comfortably, it's not all that comfortable inside. I'm still happy with it. I love it. And I guess in the long run that's all that matters. Anyway, thanks for watching.